Hi guys, it's Julie Christine and in today's video I'm going to show you a few super cute patriotic hairstyles for the 4th of July. Start with the deep side part. This will make the beret that we're doing later look a lot thicker. I also like some volume so I'm going to tease the crown area. I'm adding a one clip extension to make the braid I'm doing look thicker. If you don't have extensions, that's okay. I'll be showing you a trick later to add lots of volume to make your braid look nice and thick. If you like face framing pieces around your face, pull them out now. I like to use a bobby pin to hold them out of the way so I don't add them to the braid on accident. Now I'm doing a Dutch braid, keeping the bulk of the braid right up by the front of my face. A Dutch braid is basically an inverted French braid, so instead of the braid laying flat against your head, it's going to stick outwards. I think this is really cute with the look we're doing because it looks really puffy and it gives it a lot of texture and it looks really different. You don't need to braid all the way down, just long enough to reach your ponytail area. Okay, here's my favorite trick for making braids look amazing and big. This powder adds tons of texture and grip. I lightly sprinkle it all the way down the braid, then gently massage it in until the powder disappears. You can see with the powder how easy it is to pull the braid apart. Once I get it how I like it, I give it a quick spritz of hairspray to lock it in place. When I want a really perky ponytail, I do a half ponytail first. It keeps it from looking floppy. I tie the pony right where I want the completed pony to sit. I like my ears covered, so before I tie off the final ponytail, I pull the braid down and loosen it up a bit. I'm using some Orbe texture spray to help fluff my ponytail up and give it some volume. Now that I have some product in there, I'm going to backcomb my pony for even more fullness. Because I am all about the fullness. I'm also going to tease the pieces in front of my face a bit. Next, I'm adding a fishtail braid to part of the pony. I want to give the illusion that it's a continuation of the braid that I just did. So I'm grabbing the section of hair right where my Dutch braid meets my pony. If you need a tutorial on fishtailing, I have a really easy one for beginners. I'll link it in the description box below, so check that out. There are two reasons I do a second braid instead of just braiding my initial braid down further. The first is because it looks so much thicker if you grab a new section of hair. And the second is that the first braid turns sideways when you put it in the pony and it doesn't look as good if you as if you just do a separate one. I got this cute bow at Forever 21. I also love Etsy for bows. I found some satin and vintage velvet bows there that are gorgeous. For this next style, I'm going to start with a simple ponytail, but first I'm going to add some texture spray all throughout the hair. This will help later on as I work on the details of the style. Before I tie off my pony, I'm going to pull out some pieces around my face. I really like these hook hair ties. They help me be more precise where my ponytail ends up and how tight I wrap it. This is also really great if you have thick hair. I'm going to be adding a bunch of these cute velvet scrunchies. I've seen them all over Instagram, but I got these ones on Amazon. They come in a ton of different colors. I'll link them down below. To help give my bubbles more thickness, I'm going to back comb all the way down my ponytail. Now I'm going to tie another rubber band about four inches below my first one. You just want your final sections to be even, so the space between them is going to depend on how long your hair is. I've seen lots of ways to make the bubbles but I think that this way is the best. You're going to grab the very tip of the middle of your ponytail and then take the rubber band and slide it on up and that will make all the hair puff out. Now you're left with your perfect little hair bubble. I'm going for festive so I'm going to add a white scrunchie and then a blue. The little bunny ears have wires in them so you can move them around until you like the look of them. About four inches below the second I'm going to add a third rubber band. Next, I'm sliding the band up just like before. The smaller piece of hair you hold at the bottom, the bigger the bubble. I'm back coming the ends so they fluff out to match the rest of the pony. If you like these styles so far, I think you'll also love this video I made. I'll add it to the screen here. It has another super cute hairstyle idea for the fourth. Comment below which hairstyle is your favorite. 